Ignite Online Robotics Platform. Today we are going to discuss about the courses for 6 to 9 years age group. So for this age group we have a total 8 levels. So kids will start with the level 1 and they will reach to the advanced level of level 8. So the, they are divided basically in the 4 sections. So 4 levels will be based on the building of different types of complicated robots and the next Four levels are based on programming where kids learn what is programming and how to program the robot and how to control it with the help of programming. So if from the in the level 1 to 4 where the kids will learn the building of different types of robots here the, uh, the number of sessions will be in, in each level that is in the level 1 there will be 6 sessions or 6 classes we can say same way level 2, 3, 4, 6, 6, 6 classes will be there. So total overall from one level 1 to 4 there will be a 24 classes. Then after that they will go for the programming one where they will start from the level 5. So from the level 5 the classes will be 8. So each level, level 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8 classes will be there. So total from level 5 to 8 there will be 32 classes. So now let's discuss more in detail about each level. So first we will discuss about the level 1 where kids start learning the uh, building of a robot. So this is the first time he is getting the exposure of the robots and uh, here he will start learning about the different parts of robots first that is what is actually the chassis that is metal plates, what is motor, what is the controller of it, what is the remote that he will get the introduction of it and how to use the screwdriver, nuts and bolts that he will learn in this level and after that he will uh, mainly make the total six models in this. So the five models will be there which he learn and the sixth one will be the test so that way he will complete this level in the six sessions or six classes so let's see the which are the uh, models they will make the first model he will make is a robo cart so this is the uh, as you can see the view of it the robo cart where kid will use the metal plates motors and remotes and he will make the complete model the second one is the three wheeler ro three wheeler robot so in the model three the kids will learn how to make this a uh, fun ride robot it looks like a merry go round ride robot so here kids will learn the like how to engage the gear what is actually the gear and what is the importance of gear why we use gear and how to increase the speed with the help of gear that everything he will learn in this so with the help of gears motors uh, batteries and uh, uh, chases he will make this this fun ride robot that is merry go round ro type robot then in the fourth model he will make a two way three wheeler robot is a very special type of three wheeler robot he will make which can work in the two ways like it can work in the one direction also and the second direction also so this type of robot will make with the help of uh, again metal plates motors and batteries in the fifth model you will make a design of robocop it's a helicopter design so here you will learn how to make the design of a robocop so basically the kids will uh, basically learn the different types of design with this uh, different different models these are the five models the fifth model is robocop as you can see here so this way basically kids learn the different types of model how to build it and uh, how it works actually and the all models are working model it's not like it's a static model so this way kids will learn total five models in this level and after that there will be one test so one test we will give them a one task that you have to make this model and kids need to submit that with the proper presentation so this way we will decide how it how it is working and accordingly we will tell you guide you that whether to go for the next level or not so then we will go for the level two now in the level 2 the complication level will increase so the way he has learned in the level 1 the complication level of the model will be high so the first model he will make is the windmill robot as you can see here the windmill ro robot he will make he will understand what is the basically structure of the windmill and how it actually works and what is the uh, the working of windmill that he will understand with this model then after that he will go for the next model that is called high jet speed car so here kids will, kid will learn that what is actually high speed jet car and uh, uh, what is actually jet of it so how to make the jet at the back side of the car what is the structure of it how to develop that structure everything he will learn and this type of uh, high speed high speed jet car he will make it then after that 
the next eighth model would be that is the third third model of this level two will be of uh, we can say F1 race robo car. So the structure is like a F1 race. F1 race car is like uh, this type of structure you you can see here. So this is the F1 race structure with the fan. So there there will be at the top there will be a fan structure. So it's like uh, to give uh, air to the driver. So that type of structure he will develop in this robot. So that is that is the F1 race robo car with the fan. So this is the structure he will develop. After that, the next model he will develop is the robe boy. It's a structure, it looks like a boy, there will be a face, there will be a legs, there will be a hands in that. And so kids will understand, okay, the, this is the robe boy robot he has developed. So this is the structure, as you can see the photo, it looks like a boy structure. Fourth this is the fourth robot of this level two. And the fifth model in this level two is the Ballal robot. So it, it looks like uh, the vehicle used in the that uh, Bahubali uh, movie that is Ballal robot, which which he will develop the structure of same uh, like that. So this this robot he will make. Uh, now this all robots are the working models. They are not static model. The, in the image you 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 see like it is a static, but it is not static. All motors, batteries, wheels, all are working properly, and. Uh, uh, you know, the kid will actually feel like okay he, is, he has made a robot with the help of metal plates motors and batteries and he will control he will learn how to control with the help of remote all this robot he will learn how to engage the gears importance of gears why why the gears are used in the robots everything he will learn in the level 2 so now let's understand about the level 3 where kids will start learning about the advanced robots now in the level 1 2 they mainly focused on the how to make the basic models how to control the motor how to use the remote that everything they learn now from this level 3 the the model will become more complicated they will start learning about the complicated models like robotic crane or gripper robot claw robot so this type of robot he will start learning so let's understand more in detail about the level 3 so the first model the kid will make is the four wheeler car robot so four wheeler car he will make with this uh, in this level as you can see the model of it then after that the next model he will go for the three wheeler that is the again the uh, the modification of four wheeler how to make the three wheeler what is the difference between the four wheeler and three wheeler he will understand he will also understand the concept behind it why we should go for the three wheeler instead of four wheeler what is the benefit in the three wheeler what is the uh, benefit in the four wheeler everything he will understand so here he will also start learning the some basic theory part also it will not be only the making there will be uh, some theoretical concepts also will be covered in that then the third model he will go for the soccer robot so soccer robot where he will make a robot which can basically uh, throw a, we can kick the ball basically so that is a soccer robot so this is the model as you can see so this soccer robot we will learn then the fourth model is a claw robot claw robot is basically one type of a robot which can hold something so that is a claw robot as you can see here and the fifth one is a gripper robot so this gripper robot can pick and place something so it can pick some material and place some other material at other place so this is the fifth one a gripper robot so by this five models the kids will start developing the robot as per the application so like gripper gripper robot is basically used in the industries uh, claw robot is also used in industry soccer robot is uh, uh, it's a uh, like a, a fun game robots which are used in the in the malls and all so these are the application robots now kids are start building in this level now from the level 4 he will start building more complicated robots now let's understand the the first model of the this level 4 that is a robotic crane so how to build the robotic crane uh, what is the importance of robotics then what is the application of robotic crane that he will understand then he will understand what is the structure how to make the complete robotic crane in that as you can see the photo here this is the robotic crane here he will make then the next model is high speed cars so normal car he knows how to make it now how to increase the speed with the help of gears so he will understand how to engage the gears which gears he need to use so that the speed will increase uh, the small if you use the small gear if you use the bigger gear what is the difference in the speed that everything you will learn it's like the same in our car we when we go for the first gear second gear third gear how why the speed is increasing that that concept he will learn in this model and after that the next one he will go for high torque robotic crane so the normal crane he learned that how to pick up 
हाइट और रोबोटिक क्रेन मीन्स ही वॉन्ट टू बेसिकली लिफ्ट समथिंग विच इज वेरी हैवी सो इफ ही वॉन्ट टू लिफ्ट सपोज वन थाउजेंड के जी ऑफ स्टोन सो फॉर दैट हाइट और क्रेन इज रिक्वायर्ड इन द प्रैक्टिकल एप्लीकेशन सो सेम वे टू पुल दी द हैवी लोड द हाउ टू बिल्ड दी हाई टॉक रोबोटिक क्रेन विच टाइप ऑफ गियर्स आर यूज इन यूज इन इट एंड हाउ टू एंगेज द डिफरेंट गियर्स टू इंक्रीज द कैपेसिटी लेवल ऑफ द क्रेन दैट यू विल अंडरस्टैंड इन दिस लेवल देन इन द नेक्स्ट वन इज नेक्स्ट मॉडल यू विल गो फॉर द क्रेन विद पुली सो क्रेन विद पुली हाउ टू मेक दिस दिस अगेन लाइक हाई टॉक रोबोटिक क्रेन ही लर्न दिस इज अ डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ क्रेन दैट इज कॉल्ड क्रेन विद पुली विच विल बेसिकली इंक्रीज द लोड कैपेसिटी ऑल्सो एंड विच विल ऑल्सो इंक्रीज द द कैपेसिटी ऑफ दैट क्रेन टू होल्ड समथिंग सो दैट इज अ क्रेन विद पुली हाउ टू मेक दैट स्ट्रक्चर एज यू कैन सी हियर दिस टाइप ऑफ मॉडल ही विल मेक now the last model as you can see here this model we will make is that is called dumper robot dumper robot is is like you you would have seen the truck which basically hold the uh, the the sand at the construction site and it take from one place to another that is called dumper robot so this type of structure we will learn how to make that lifting part which is there in the truck back side that is up and down that lifting mechanism we will learn in this so this is the dump, dumper truck he will make so this is how the the kid will start with the level 1 and he will reach to the level 4 with that complicated robots and after this fifth model there will be again test we will give them a task to build a complicated one a complicated practical robot he need to build that again he he need to give the presentation of it and after that we will judge whether to go for the next one or not so then so from the level 5 kid will start learning about the programming basic concepts so he will he will learn like he has he has learned in the level 1 to 4 how to build the different complicated robots now from the level 5 he will learn how to control the robot automatically without remote with the programming so he will learn the uh, programming commands like uh, how to make the motor on off there is a motor on off function will be there if function will be there forever function will be there how to repeat the functions for 5 times or 10 times uh, how to use the sensors he will learn the three types of different sensors and how to use the sensors how to program it uh, with help of programming the sensor functions are there so that kid will learn in this so that way uh, by different programming commands he will control the robot completely with help of programming so after doing programming the robot will work automatically so that they will learn in level 5 to 8